welcome to It's in the Bag Crochet with Darla. Today's Saturday, uh, January 7th, 2023. And if you're new here, I just want to welcome you and thank you for joining us. If you're returning, I want to welcome you as well and I do appreciate you coming back. Um, today I just have a couple things I want to go over. Um, if you remember, um, a few months back, I was working on a collaboration, Community Garden Cal, and it was making squares. I do have a playlist titled that if you want to go back and check out some of my other squares. Um, I did 12 squares, and then I had to stop and work on Christmas things and stuff, but now I'm back to it. And so this is my square and I have a small work area here so I'm going to show you it the best I can but this is the strawberry square and it's um, corner to corner and it's double crochet and let me see who that was made by, if I can remember. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, that was the Strawberry by Emma Wilkinson Designs, is the person that designed that. And it is called the Community Garden Blanket. And like I said, I do have a playlist if you want to go look at some of the other um, squares I've made. I really am enjoying that project. It's taken me a lot longer than I thought, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. So I'm down to two names of what to call you, you guys. Um, I've kind of narrowed it down to two. One is baguettes spelled B-A-G-U-E-T-T-E-S and the other one is Crochet Buddies. So um, leave in the comment section if you would which name you like the best. That would really help me make a decision on what to call you guys. I had a lot of, well I had about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, about six suggestions and some of them I think were have already been used. Um, sorry about that, you guys. Woohoo! Take you for a ride. Okay, so now I'll show you my. I've already got the box open because, like I said, I have a limited work area here. Um, so everything's right here, <laughs> and I don't have much space. So. Um, in my Lion Brand order, I ordered this Ferris wool yarn. Ferris wool. This is a Lion Brand yarn. It is, look at those colors. Aren't those beautiful? I love those colors together. I don't know what I'll make with it. I only got five of these. This is a four weight yarn. And there's 270 yards. This color is called Vintage Carousel. That's just gorgeous. I love that. So I've got five of those. So I don't know how many yards that is all together, but I want to make something beautiful with it, but I don't know what. And this one's already starting to come apart. This is by Vanna White. It's Vanna's Choice. And this is, let me show it to you first. And yeah, if there's not anything else, it's just called Vanished Choice. It says something about St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. 
I'm not sure if proceeds go to help that or not. I can't see it because my old eyes can't see that small print. But this is a four weight yarn. And this is a 145 yards. And this color is barley. And I got this um, particularly to make I found this uh, pattern and it was for like a vintage looking Santa and um, so I thought this brown with the specks in it would be really pretty to make that Santa excuse me not a Santa a snowman uh, that's what me and my husband collect is snowmen so I thought I might make one for for me and my husband and one for my nephew since last year I made him a snowman also for Christmas so that's what I got that for and I, I hope that'll work good this is real, fairly soft um, I you know I would wear something made out of this it's not itchy or anything same with the ferris wheel it didn't seem itchy this is a little more this is a uh, 92% acrylic and 8% rayon and I know rayon's really soft I think it's just um, you know the acrylic but it's like I said it you definitely it's it's wearable or scarfable as crystal would say so I have five of those so and the the ferris wheel is I believe it's 100% acrylic yeah it's 100% acrylic and it's a 4 but it looks really thin to me I don't know if you can see that but so it's on the thinner side of a 4 just my opinion so that was my acquisition um, one other thing I would just like to mention is that come over on Thursdays and check me out we have a collab going on I'm participating in with some other ladies it's called things we were making Thursday and right now we're working on a heart throb excuse me heart throb blanket um for um hopefully it'll be done by valentine's what we do is we uh pick a free pattern and we work on it for the month and then the next month we'll pick another free pattern they're not always going to be blankets um i'm not sure what we're doing next month you know but this month we chose to do the heartthrob blanket so that we could have it for Valentine's Day. And, you know, you're welcome to come and join us. It's an easy project. It is intermediate, but I think it's only because it's corner to corner in a half double crochet instead of a double crochet. So that might be why it's intermediate, but um, I'm working on it. I did make a boo-boo and had to frog a few rows, but, you know, that's all a part of crocheting in my eyes. Um, so it is what it is. Um, so come, come check us out on Thursday. Um, I will leave a description I will leave when I do my Thursday video I'll leave a name of everybody that's participating in that so that you can run over to their channels and check them out see their progress and um, some people have chosen different colors than um, what was suggested in the pattern and I love that because you know diversity is what makes the world go round so you know, and I can't wait to see how their projects are coming. So, with that said, I think I'll bid you adieu for today. Ah, my box is falling over with yarn. 
there's an, you're an avalanche. Better to be buried in yarn than anything else, right? So, oh, did I tell you guys about the names? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Oh my gosh. See how forgetful I am, you guys? I'm starting to worry about myself. Anyhow, um, I will close for now and I wish you all a great day and I hope to see you soon. Take care.